you know, just when you think this movie couldn't get any dumber, it totally redeems itself. <laughs> Dumb and Dumber is a 20-year gem that is still awesome to this day. And, of course, it stars Jim Carrey and Jeff Daniels as Lloyd Christmas and Harry Dunn. Because, you know, you got to be done with stuff. <laughs> anyway... <laughs> Anyway, so the simple plot of Old Dumb and Dumber is Lloyd and Harry go on a road trip to Aspen to retrieve a return a briefcase that Lloyd has basically retrieved from Mary, Mary Swanson actually, who left it at the airport. Thankingly, he thinks she left it there by accident, but she actually left it there on purpose because inside is the ransom money to free her boyfriend or fiance I forget which one and of course Lloyd re tries to return it to her and off they go on this crazy ass but awesome adventure Dumb and Dumber is a classic okay 20 years man 20 fucking years and I, I had to do it because you know what the sequel is coming out in 14 days and uh yeah it's gonna be fucking awesome. As uh, as this movie, okay? This movie is just classic Fairly Bros at their best. Can't go wrong with it. The chemistry between Jim Carrey and Jeff Daniels is just awesome. Just enjoy it. Just all the simple little jokes in this movie is the funniest thing ever because it's so stupid. You laugh at it because that's the point. The stupid it the, the stupider the jokes are, the better. If it was a regular movie, that would be stupid as fuck and nobody would give a shit. But in the movie where the stupid is supposed to be stupid, it makes sense. <laughs> if that makes any fucking sense. <laughs> so, yeah. Dumb and Dumber is a fun movie. It's just a fun ride, you know what I mean? And, uh, yeah. The acting in the movie is great. You love it, man. Love every person in this movie that that's in it because they all good so far and of course Lauren Holly <sighs> red hair you know before before her turbulence days yeah oh yeah 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 and of course I'm reviewing the unrated cut because you know the unrated cut is longer I don't know how long it, it is from the original PG-13 cut but I'd rather watch the definitive version because this movie feels more complete. The PG-13 looks sloppily edited all the time when I seen it on TV and on DVD when I had the DVD. Of course, it was before the unrated Blu-ray came out. I think they made an unrated DVD before the Blu-ray as well. But I own the original DVD cut. And uh, boy, that movie looked chopped to pieces. So, it's good to see the movie put together again. Especially after all these years. Completely put together. And I couldn't ask for anything more. I'm hoping we get an unrated cut of the second one as well. Because it's going to be fucking sweet. I hope. I'm hoping. I'm going in with high hopes on this one. Because I love this one so much. Dumb and Dumber. It's going to get an A+. Dumb and Dumber is just one of those movies that's going to stick with you. And stick with me. For all my years on this planet, because I literally grew up with the fucking movie. Pretty much. From 7 years old to 27. Holy crap. <laughs> so, yeah. So, let me know what you guys think about Dumb and Dumber down below. Did you like it? Did you hate it? 
Let me know what you guys think about the second one. You think it's going to be as good as the first one? Which I'm hoping it is. Fingers crossed. Fingers and my toes crossed. You can't see that. But uh, yeah, I crossed those two. Because I'm really hoping Dumb and Dumber 2 is going to be awesome. Okay. And yes, I know I'm going to be touching upon that other one that should not be named. I'm not even sure if I'll even title, I'll title it in the video. I probably won't even mention the name of it in my review because uh, that one was just terrible. Terrible. But I'm in no rush to put that one up right now. So I'm not ready to put myself through that torture. So anyways, I'm out.